Welcome to A1 Technical Videos. My name is Horace Park, and today we're going to show you how to change an 06E carrier oil pump, which is also the same way you change an 06D carrier oil pump. The pump's just a little bit smaller. All right, what we're going to, what we're going to do is remove the little cover, four bolt cover plate. Behind here is a spring and another little cover plate. The spring is the last thing you see before you put this plate back on. Like I said earlier, this oil pump is exactly the same as an 06D oil pump. The pumps are just a little bit smaller. The most important thing you've got to remember are that there's two different size Allen screws in here that we're fixing to remove. All right, we removed the two screws that we have here. This is the drive part of the oil pump. This actually drives and turns the oil pump as the shaft spins. So this, take that out. Now we're going to remove the bearing housing itself. Remember, of course, we're doing all this with the service valve front seated and all the pressure taken off the compressor. This is a mocked up compressor that we're using for changing oil pumps and also for changing, for showing technical videos of the, the head. You just want to tap lightly. This is the bearing housing itself here that contains the complete oil pump assembly. Two things you want to check for is when you remove this is how rough or how bad is this bearing surface here. The other thing you want to check is when you install your new oil pump, you want to make sure that you get the right one and you don't have a lot of play here. Here we have practically no play in the oil pump. So we know that we've got the right pump for the right shafts. Some shafts may be 10 undersized. So in, in, that, play, in that way, the uh, a standard bearing, a standard pump would slide on there, but you would have a lot of play. So you want to make sure you get exactly the right pump. Most of them are going to be standard, but occasionally there are 10 undersize. This is our oil pump here in our bearing housing. We sell these on our, at our counter. We have those available for you anytime that you need them uh, on our 06 E and D oil pumps. But we're going to put this one back on just strictly for demonstration purposes to show you how to change a carrier oil pump. Now we're going to scrape this gasket, of course, and put, and put a new gasket on. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to leave this gasket on here. And we're going to reinstall this oil pump. Basically the same way that we took it off. You'll notice, for you guys, there is a top on here, on, top, on the oil pump, letting you know that it's straight up and down. And then we're going to reinstall it. These bolts will actually torque to about 40 to 50 foot pounds. They are a 7 16 bolt. Now we're going to install our drive. Sometimes you may have to actually rotate the, the oil, uh, oil pump itself right here to install the drive section in case you may think it may not fit. This tab here will always be out. It does not go in.
we're going to install the first set screw, then the second set screw on our drive tab. I'm using an impact wrench simply for the sake of speed. I really don't recommend you using an impact wrench. You may in fact actually strip the little Allen bolt down. There's one. There's two. Now we're going to install our cover back on our spring. This also has a gasket here that you would want to change. It comes with our oil pump assembly. It comes complete. All you've got to do is see your wholesaler and ask for an 06E or an 06D carrier oil pump. We have those in stock. Guys, that's the way you change an 06E and an 06D carrier oil pump. Thanks for watching.